What am I supposed to be looking for here? No, what, what grabs you in any of these? What, what turns you off? Well, <laughs> does it really matter? I mean, I'm just gonna be the model. No, you're not gonna be just the model. Bridget, we're building an entire campaign around you. Yeah. Maybe that was a mistake. <laughs> Come on, what are you talking about? This is a brilliant idea. I should know. I came up with it. Deacon doesn't think I can do it. Deacon. What, what, what does Deacon know? He knows me. Bridget, I have been doing this for a very long time, and I have seen hundreds, if not thousands, of models come and go. And believe me, the one thing I've been able to pick out is somebody with that spark. You have that. Okay? People are drawn to you. I mean, who knows where it comes from? I can't put my <laughs> finger on it myself, but we have to figure out a way to get this to this and we've got gold. I wish Deacon had your faith. And before his attitude made you want it more, what's changed? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Actually, I do. It really bothered me that he went to mom behind my back. It just, it felt like a betrayal. You think I'm overreacting, huh? No, no. <laughs> no, no, I'm sure it sounds silly. No, it's not silly. Bridget, I hate to see you second-guessing yourself like this. You know, your instincts are dead on. What are you saying? I shouldn't trust my husband? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Deacon. Deacon, what have I done? Isn't it amazing? Brooke has spent her whole adult life chasing Forrester men. I suppose she thought it would fill the void somehow. And yet after every failed relationship, she just moved on to the next and the next. I mean, it's a crazy, vicious cycle. And when does it end? I don't know, I suppose when she finds her real soulmate. <laughs> that will never happen. Well, maybe if she hadn't been so preoccupied with Ridge for all these years, it might have. I mean, there's certainly been no shortage of contenders, has there? 
No, of course not. Why should there be? Brooke is an extraordinarily attractive woman. She's sensual and exciting, very sexy. I'm sure any man would be attracted to her. But I'm not talking about simple attraction. I am talking about true love. Hmm? And that, I don't think, she is capable of causing in any other person. I mean, what man could look into the depths of that woman's soul and see love there? No one could fall in love with a barracuda. Another barracuda. Well, let's just hope she finds one. You know what? I'm going to save my sympathy and my prayers for the man's wife. Because knowing Brooke Logan, you can be sure he'll have one. Look, Bridget. There are some things that you don't... I'm going to stop you right there, okay? God, I am such a hypocrite. Here I am telling you how important loyalty is to me, and now we're talking about Deacon behind his back. He's not the man you think he is, Bridget. Whip, look, I know you guys don't get along, but just cut him some slack, okay? He's really making an effort. Because he needs me. To do the job? I think there's a little more to it than that. Your family... Me. Yes, you. You and my mom are having a baby, aren't you? Well, that doesn't necessarily mean that uh, we have a future together, as much as I may want it. Does she know how you feel? Yeah, I think I've made it pretty clear. So then what is holding her back? It's complicated. Yeah, my mom has had a lot of... Uh... Painful relationships. Mm -hmm. I guess there's a lot of baggage, huh? Mm, and then some. <laughs> so you just need somebody to take care of her whip. I'm trying, Bridget. I know. I appreciate it. Yeah, maybe someday she will, too. <gasps> this was wrong. This was so wrong. Brooke, how can you say that? Brooke, did it feel wrong? No, it felt like we belonged together, didn't it? All my life, I have felt like I've been half alive. This is it. You're the one. Deacon, I can't be. You are married to my daughter. What? The fact that we can't keep our hands off each other, doesn't that say something? No, it tells me that I'm a terrible person. Why? For being in love? For being weak. Brooke, I'm not proud of this either, but I sure as hell am not sorry. Well, I am. I am so sorry. I don't believe you, Brooke. I don't believe you. Oh, God. Now, Brooke, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Baby, has it ever been like this for you before? Ever? No. Everything else in the world just goes away. It's just you and me and this baby, and nothing else matters. I can't stop. I can't stop. I don't want to stop feeling like this. We're not the only people in the world. There are other people out there, and we're hurting them. We are hurting Bridget. Now, can you do that? Because I can't. I'm her mother. Look, we've tried to do the right thing for months. This shouldn't have happened. But it did. It's gonna continue happening. No, no, it's not. Yes, it is, because I can't stay away from you. Do you understand me? I can't keep lying, not after this. We've got to tell Bridget the truth. We have to. So you want to tell Bridget that we betrayed her? The two people that she loves and trusts the most? Brooke, I don't know what else to do. You go. I won't let you go. Not even for Bridget. You don't have to. You mean? I mean, you don't have to make that choice, Deacon. I'm going to do it for you. What? I'm going away. No. No, Brooke. Yes, no. I'm going to Paris. No, to Brooke, live. please. Just stay, and we'll talk to Bridget. We'll explain it to her. It would kill her. Don't you understand that? It is my job in life to protect her. She's your daughter. She'll understand. She's strong. She'll get through this. Yeah, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't get through her shutting me out and her hating me. So if you can't let go of me for Bridget's sake, do it for mine. Brooke, wait, please. Come 
my deacon. I love you. Brooke, wait, please! I told you, I'm going to Paris, okay? But why? Look, I don't have time for the questions. I'll just call you when I get there. Brooke, wait! Wait! What are you doing? Brooke, please don't leave. You know I have to. Is it? It's Whip. Megan, is that you? You know what? She's not here. Did she go home? Yeah, she did. Anybody ever tell you you're a terrible liar? Rook! Where is she? I'm not gonna Damn it, Megan, this is no joke. Okay, okay. Look, she feels bad enough. Oh, really? Not bad enough to stop? God! I warned her that this would happen. Well, that's it. That's it. I'm out, he's in. No. She ended it. Oh, really? Does this look like she ended After it? After word. Look, she's not gonna see him anymore. How is she gonna manage that? She's leaving the country. She's moving to Paris today, unless, of course, Deacon can stop her, and I think he's gonna try. Ms. Logan. Oh, there you are. Sorry about the delay. Let me just get settled. We'll get clearance from the tower, and then we'll be on our way. Wonderful. Thank you. To hear you talk, I think you actually do hope that Brooke finds her Mr. Wright. For selfish reasons. I see. But for selfish reasons, I have no reason to wish any good into her life. I've already lost everything that matters in mine. She did that. But I'll tell you something. I do hope one thing. I do hope that she does find Mr. Wright. Mm -hmm. That she finds the man of her dreams, and he is everything she ever hoped for. That he is handsome and rich and powerful and promises her the world. I hope she is madly in love with him. And I hope that they are dreaming of a brilliant future with children and grandchildren. And then I hope it's all ripped away from her. Torn away from her, cruelly and tragically. The same way she destroyed the future of your son and my daughter. And I hope Brooke spends the rest of her life alone, wondering what might have been.
shouldn't be here. Brooke, get off the plane. If you really love me... If I really loved you, what? I'd let you go? What the hell kind of logic is that? I don't want to love you halfway around the world. I want you here. In my life, in my bed. Shh, he'll hear you. I don't give a damn if anyone hears me. This, this is the only thing that works for me. You and me and this baby, it fits. It's the only thing that fits. Naked, it's not enough. Well, what do you mean it's not enough? It's everything you've looked for your entire life. What are you going to do? You're just going to run away from it now? If things were different. Let's make them different. How? Good question. What the hell is he doing here? Oh, didn't Brooke tell you? I'm her conscience. I follow her everywhere. Especially when she's done something she regrets. You should have listened to me. You're not going anywhere. If I have to take you off this plane, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> My hero. What are you gonna do, Deacon? Where are you gonna take her? Back to your house, where your wife is waiting? Or maybe you can take her back to her house, where Rick and Amber can cook you breakfast. Or better yet, why don't you take her to a hotel? But I think maybe that's a bad idea because the tabloid boys are waiting there. They get all their best raw material there, and I do mean raw. Now you look me in the eyes and you tell me. Is that what you want for her, huh? Scandal, public disgrace? The company goes south, of course. Her reputation is shot. Nobody's gonna want to be associated with her, least of all, her children. But hey, she'll have you, right? Love conquers all. Maybe somebody a little younger, a little more naive. Maybe somebody like Bridget might buy that. But you and I, we'd both know different. And I know you do. He's right. I don't have a solution right now. But we can work one out. We can figure something out, Brooke. Look, we owe this to our child. Deacon, what about my other children? What do I owe them? It's not about obligation. Their happiness means more to me than... Than me. Is that what you're saying? Just give Bridget a chance, okay? You never really have. Oh, I hadn't realized. Three passengers? No. Oh, just Brooke and me. Baby, you're not going. Deacon. You ready to take off? Whenever you are. We're ready. Very good. I'll just wait and secure the door. Okay, time to say goodbye, Deacon. Go. You keep in touch. Let us know how things are going. strapped in. 